India's IT sector doesn't just bring a whopping rupees 5 lakh crore in forex each year, it also contributes 50% to India's services exports. With 15 lakh engineers entering in the game, India's prowess IT services is known worldwide. TCS, Infosys, and Wipro are some of the names that symbolize India's soft power across the globe. But hold on, the rise of generative AI is stirring up trouble for the sector and Indian IT giants may see their margins shrinking in the coming years. Indian IT firms have excelled in digitalizing outdated systems, migrating them to the cloud, and enabling global access. This approach has propelled their success, offering enhanced efficiency and scalability. But now the emergence of generative AI presents a potential game-changer, capable of automating processes ranging from customer services and software development to data analytics and production. GPT-4 Turbo has knowledge about the world up to April of 2023, and we will continue to improve that over time. Dolly 3, GPT-4 Turbo with Vision, and the new text-to-speech model are all going into the API today. Gen AI is an inflection point for enterprise tech, turning AI into a megatrend by dramatically bending the innovation curve and pace of technological change. It is not a novel concept for IT companies, but its prominence skyrocketed after the release of ChatGPT in November 2022. Developed by OpenAI, ChatGPT is an advanced language model that has captured the attention of professionals across various industries. Its unique ability to understand and generate human-like text has become a catalyst for accelerating creative and analytical output. The impact of GenAI extends beyond individual tasks and projects. It has the potential to transform entire industries, including software development, data analysis, and customer service. Indian IT companies must grapple with the implications of Gen AI and determine how to leverage its capabilities to stay ahead in a fiercely competitive market. As we delve deeper into the impact of generative artificial intelligence Gen AI, on Indian IT firms, it's essential to understand the facts and figures that underscore the size and potential of this rapidly expanding market. In a report published by Bloomberg Intelligence in June 2023, it was estimated that the global Gen AI market reached a value of $40 billion in 2022. But that's just the beginning. Projections indicate that this figure is set to skyrocket, reaching a staggering $1.3 trillion within the next decade. The report further highlights the significant growth potential for Gen AI-focused IT and business services. It projects a compound annual growth rate, CAGR, of 100% and 97% respectively between 2022 and 2032. However, the highest CAGR is expected in Gen AI focused debt spending, demonstrating the broad impact of this technology across various sectors. In a separate report published by McKinsey & Company, titled, The Economic Potential of Generative AI, staggering figures were revealed. They estimated that generative AI has the potential to contribute the equivalent of $2.6 trillion to $4.4 trillion annually across 63 analyzed use cases. Indian IT firms are taking decisive steps to establish their presence in the rapidly evolving battlefield of generative artificial intelligence Gen AI. Their top management is actively engaging with the technology, striving to comprehend its intricacies before formulating strategies to harness its potential for increased revenue. Leading the charge is Tata Consultancy Services TCS, India's largest IT company by profit with the highest number of Gen AI trained professionals. Their commitment to understanding and leveraging Gen AI exemplifies the proactive approach taken by Indian IT firms. In December of last year, Kusair reported a staggering statistic. In India alone, a student enrolled in a Gen AI-related course every three minutes in 2023. This amounted to a total of 196,000 enrollments across their diverse selection of 35 courses offered by renowned global universities and industry educators. These numbers highlight the immense demand for knowledge and skills related to Gen AI, as individuals seek to equip themselves for the changing job landscape. As this technology continues to evolve and permeate various industries, including IT, it becomes imperative for professionals to stay ahead of the curve.
While some may perceive reskilling in Gen AI as a significant challenge, the outgoing CEO of Genpact holds a different perspective. Indian IT companies such as Wipro are investing heavily in AI capabilities and have embarked on ambitious plans to train their entire workforce of 250,000 employees in AI fundamentals within a year. Tech Mahindra, on the other hand, boasts an impressive Gen AI studio, they have developed a well-defined AI proficiency framework, consisting of four levels, AI developer, AI engineer, AI expert, and AI champion. This framework enables them to upskill their employees and unlock the full potential of AI capabilities. It's worth noting that early adopters of Gen AI include prominent tech and consulting firms like Accenture. They have reported substantial revenue with $300 million generated from selling Gen AI products in fiscal year 2023. In fact, they already have sales commitments of $450 million for the first quarter of fiscal year 2024. While Indian IT companies have yet to make such claims, they are actively engaged in internal experimentation and have made modest investments in Gen AI. However, revenue recording for this service category as a distinct entity remains limited, and the focus is more on general investments in deals in AI, rather than specific emphasis on Gen AI. With the increasing integration of Gen AI in IT projects, a shift from the traditional time and material model to an outcome and usage-based approach is becoming crucial. This transition ensures that revenue discussions are not solely reliant on headcount, but rather on the level of technological enablement and scalability of solutions offered by IT companies to their clients. On the surface, most representatives from IT companies express enthusiasm about the use and business cases of Gen AI for their global clients. However, upon deeper exploration, a sense of unease can be detected, stemming from the potential impact on their revenue and concerns of encroachment by big tech and startups into their territory. According to a NASCOM industry report and project-level examples provided by IT companies, the deflationary impact of Gen AI on deals could range from 20% to 30% in the short run. However, the report also suggests that implementing Gen AI at an enterprise scale in real-life scenarios may initially yield productivity benefits of approximately 5%, primarily due to challenges related to data quality and compliance efforts. Given the rapid pace of technological advancement, there is a possibility that Gen AI will disintermediate some of the work currently performed by Indian IT companies as service providers. However, industry stakeholders maintain that this trend will not become permanent as they possess their time-tested ACES. To read the detailed story on the issue, read Outlook Business January cover, Gen AI and Indian IT Sector. Do like, subscribe and press the bell icon for more such insightful videos.